Sky First Alert AccuWeather Forecast with Chief Meteorologist Keith Gibson. Some morning clouds and still into the afternoon hour. Some clouds out there are time lapse from Durham's Pharmacy in Vernon. You can see these low clouds that scooted down in today. Our saving grace right now, we'll take any clouds that we can get to limit the heating. Also in Louisville, Mississippi this morning, notice how we've gone throughout the course of the late morning now into the afternoon with more clouds than anything else. We are thinning out those clouds a little bit, but it has kept temperatures on the cooler side. 83 degrees in Columbus, not the low 90s. 87 degrees in Tupelo, not the mid 90s, but will likely warm up as we go throughout the course of the afternoon, and that will give rise to some spotty showers and storms. All of that concentrated along and south of I-20-59 right now and I-20. That's where the heaviest rain is, but some of that could migrate back to the north as we get into this afternoon. So pretty quiet now, but some of these showers may lift in here later on today. And you can see that with future casts, we still have the opportunity for some isolated to scattered showers and thunder showers this afternoon. A wave could move on through during the early to mid evening hours, much like last night, and then fizzle after about 9 or 10 o'clock. Tomorrow morning, we may wake up to more clouds and a little bit of sunshine here on our Saturday. And we'll likely see more scattered showers and storms during the course of our afternoon into our evening here Saturday. More or less the same story for your weekend, too. Tropical Storm Hannah, yeah, look at this thing getting a little bit more organized. This is a 3D look at this. Now, it looks pretty impressive from satellite imagery, but there's some drier air on the northwestern side of this to limit the extent of strengthening at this point. So still a tropical storm sustained wind at 45 miles per hour. Overall, it's looking pretty impressive from satellite. It may intensify a little bit, maybe just maybe becoming a Cat 1 hurricane before making landfall Saturday somewhere here in South Texas. This is going to be a big rain producer for these folks down here in the Rio Grande Valley. Anywhere from 5 to 12 inches of rain, certainly possible flooding issues. That's going to be a big problem down there. No real impacts for us here. Gonzalo still hanging out here in the Atlantic, holding its own, if you will, sustained wind about 50. This is gradually moving to the west, and we are suspecting it's going to weaken, maybe back down to a depression, maybe a tropical wave here sometime by early next week. So at this point, posing no threat. To our area. For today, we are looking at some sunshine, some clouds, and a chance for some of those spotty showers and storms. Upper 80s to low 90s for highs. Things fairly tame tonight, low 70s in many spots. And for our day Saturday, as we start the weekend, low to possibly mid 90s again. A mix of sunny clouds and a chance for some of those spotty showers and storms. No big changes here with your AccuWeather 70 forecast. Let's check it out. 92 today, maybe some 80s. Uh, depending on the cloud cover situation, but there will be some spotty storms around here for the, your weekend. More or less the same story, lower 90s into next week. It does, it, it does appear that we may see a better chance for some showers and storms more widespread by next Wednesday and Thursday with a weak cold front trying to come on in here, but still pretty warm and muggy across the board here. There's your forecast. More of the show after the break. <laughs> 